Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interesting in today's video. For the development of science and technology at this stage, firstly, it is inseparable from communication technology, and secondly, it is inseparable from the chip industry. Since it started late in the semiconductor field and has the attribute of being highly dependent on the global supply chain, it is difficult to make a breakthrough in the short term. Possibly, the focus was then shifted to the communications field. After more than 30 years of deep cultivation, Huawei has deeply deployed the European and American markets and launched comprehensive cooperation with local suppliers, which has greatly helped in technological upgrading. As early as in the 4G era, Huawei has become a major supplier of global communication equipment. In the subsequent 5G era, it has achieved an overtake in one fell swoop. The birth of Huawei's 5G technology has helped China achieve cornering overtaking. From profit to payment of technology patent fees, the United States naturally has no way to accept it, and it also does not admit that it is behind. An update iteration of enterprise technology. Fortunately, Huawei's 5G technology is derived from independent research and development, and it remains intact under multiple rounds of strikes. The rules start here. After the failure of the competition at the 5G level, the United States directly chose to bypass it, shifting the competition to 6G, and also pushed it to the field of space communication with advantages. After China and the United States successively announced the 6G research and development process, the US media bluntly stated, the advantage is quite obvious. Then who can win? Let's compare the advantages of China and the United States in the field of 5G. From the 1G to 4G era, the technology in the communication field was led by Europe and the United States. Enterprises such as Qualcomm and Ericsson realized lay earning by virtue of technical patents, but in fact, in the late 4G era, Huawei had already achieved parallelism. With the deepening of technology, it has achieved a catch-up in the 5G field in one fell swoop, and Europe and the United States have not yet been able to come up with effective 5G solutions. With the world's number one technology patent, Huawei has successfully taken the lead in the 5G field. The reason for this result is that Europe and the United States are overconfident, thus ignoring the growth of Chinese companies. In addition, ZTE also has a strong it is a pity that the time is bad, and the top technology was discovered and intervened by the United States prematurely, but fortunately, it has gotten rid of control now. With the efforts of Chinese companies, China has built 2.312 million 5G base stations, fully covering medium and large cities, accounting for 60% of the global total and the total number of users has exceeded 560 million. During the whole process, the United States has been cutting off supplies to Chinese companies and encouraging other countries to refuse to cooperate with Huawei. European countries have made wrong choices one after another, but fortunately, some countries are sober. The U.S. approach has directly undermined international industrial cooperation, and countries no longer trust the global supply chain and are seeking technological autonomy, and all consequences can only be borne by U.S. companies. No company can escape layoffs and a sharp drop in market value. 6G Research and Development Process in the United States in order to achieve leapfrog development, American companies quickly launched a layout for 6G, 
united with top companies in the world except Chinese companies, and established the so-called Next G Alliance. And the actual purpose is to develop 6G technology. South Korea and other countries have actively participated in trying to get rid of their dependence on Huawei in the next internet era. With such high-quality resources assembled, the United States has indeed achieved considerable breakthroughs. According to the latest statistics, China accounts for about 40% of 6G technology patents, while the United States accounts for 35%. China is at a disadvantage, but how to combine the patents of countries such as Japan and South Korea has advantages in this regard. The main direction of 6G is airspace integration. In order to catch up with China, the United States can say that it will do everything possible, allowing Musk's crazy Starlink project, and will launch a total of more than 42,000 satellites. The Earth is surrounded, such an approach is meaningless to 6G, and the main purpose must be to occupy more low-Earth orbits. At present, Starlink satellites have been applied. Through the upgrading of technology, the follow-up satellite communication service will be more perfect, and the Internet access function of terminal devices such as smartphones will be realized and the network speed will also be effectively improved. These are the points of concern. Does China have a plan to deal with it? China announces 6G progress. In the layout of space ground integration, the United States, which has resources in low Earth orbit, is obviously more dominant. Therefore, in the process of deploying 6G, China can only use the route from the ground to space, which is different from the US space penetration ground model. But at the level of core technology, China still has an advantage. According to the latest news, it was officially announced, the terahertz band has achieved the world's fastest transmission speed, which is of great significance to the layout of the 6G network, and will allow China to continue to maintain communication. Leading technology in the field. The breakthrough of terahertz band technology will accelerate the upgrade of satellite communications and ground base stations. Similarly, there is a similar Starlink plan in China. The high orbit satellite system Swan Goose Constellation plan is already under implementation. The first batch of satellites will be set at 2,000 km height. Combined with the terahertz band technology and the Swan Goose Constellation plan, many U.S. experts believe that the U.S. wants to catch up with China's 6G in the future, basically there's no hope. What do you think about this?